There was another candidate, I think just yesterday, uh, signed up and said that they're going to run for District 5, which is a position currently held by Deborah Juarez, who is not running anymore, uh, not running to keep her seat. So it's an open position. Does this, uh, I'm going to show viewers a picture of a, of a woman, and you tell me if this woman looks familiar to anyone. Anybody? Well, if you're not, if you're not watching, I'm showing a picture of Nicole Thomas Kennedy. That name will probably sound familiar because she ran for Seattle city attorney. Thank God lost to Ann Davison, but she's the one who got in trouble for her tweets, her, uh, tweety trigger, triggery tweet fingers. Did she, she get in trouble? Really? She just kind of uh, got called out for him. She got she called out care. for it. Yeah. She didn't really care, but I think the only reason we elected a Republican in Seattle Ann Davison is because Nicole Thomas Kennedy's tweets were so bad. Even Seattleites were like, okay, <laughs> right. They were bad. A little too far. I mean, Nicole Thomas Kennedy had said, like, cops were serial killers. She celebrated the people who um, were committing acts of arson in the summer of 2020. Like, some really wild stuff. Well, no, Nicole Thomas Kennedy isn't the, run the one running for Seattle City Council. However, the woman who ran her campaign, her campaign manager, has announced that she's running for Seattle City Council position five. Now, you might be saying, well, Brandy, well, maybe her campaign manager isn't as much of a lunatic. Oh, but she is. Because back when I was working at Fox 13, we were covering, myself, uh, our reporter at the time, Hannah Kim, had been covering at length Nicole Thomas Kennedy's egregious tweets. And then I got a tip that her campaign manager's tweets were pretty bad too. A woman named Ty Reed. Well, Ty Reed, is now running for Seattle City Council. And just as a reminder, I'm going to play a clip of a story I did with Fox 13 at the time looking into the horrible tweets sent out by this woman, Ty Reed, who now wants to be on the Seattle City Council. But if you think that her tweets are bad, her campaign managers are even worse. Meet Ty Reed, that's her on the left, the picture taken just a month ago. In it, Thomas Kennedy and current Seattle City Councilwoman Tammy Morales. On Reed's shirt, a flaming Seattle police cruiser and the words, this is a policy proposal. If Thomas Kennedy's Twitter account is a diary of hatred, Reed's is a diary of violence. June 3rd, 2020, this bitch Mayor Durkin is going to get her ass beat one day. October 2nd, 2020, in response to a shooting in South Seattle, prayers the victim is a cop. Cop spelled KKK. Let me just say something. June 10th, 2020, when our news crew was mobbed in the occupied protest zone known as CHOP, Reed tweeted, filth don't deserve niceties. It seems no one is spared from her violent thoughts. June 2nd, 2020, she takes aim at then candidate for president Joe Biden, who'd just given a speech during the height of unrest around race and policing. All his pretty words aren't stopping the police from beating our asses. So the unity bullshit is wasted breath, hopefully his last. And how about this one, where her campaign manager called former Seattle police chief Carmen Best an Uncle Tom mother I'm kind of proud at Fox 13 for letting me air that story at the time. I was shocked. We, we did a lot of bleeping <laughs> of words. That woman just filed to run for Seattle City Council, District 5. <laughs> First of all, it should be, I think what freaks me out, why I'm laughing so I don't cry. That campaign should be dead on arrival. But in Seattle, I, I, you just never know. And so, you know, I think with Nicole Thomas Kennedy, when she ran for City Council, her tweets, it took a little bit for those to be discovered and uncovered. Luckily, because of the diligent work we did at Fox 13 a few years ago, we already know who Ty Reed is. And yes, I take it personally because she called me filth <laughs> after our crew got mobbed at CHOP. So Ty Reed, this is personal. This is personal. And I will do everything in my power to make sure that you never set foot inside the Seattle City Council chambers. Um, but I think it just shows you the choice. And this is really... This is kind of always the, the, the choice that Seattle voters are faced with more and more as of late, which is, of course, it's just going to be different shades of blue for people who are running for Seattle City Council. But when you look at how vast the, um, the difference can be between someone like Olga Sagan and Ty Reed, differing shades of blue can be quite significant. Uh, and so this is obviously horrifying. I hope Seattle voters have learned their lesson uh, in saying, hey, we don't need activists like that on the Seattle City Council. We don't need people who hate cops. 
We don't need people who call the city's first black female police chief an Uncle Tom mf -er. We don't need people who tweet out threats against the mayor and the president of the United States. We don't uh, need people who cheer on acts of violence against a free press. So I, I don't know to the extent that Ty Reed's candidacy will take off, but I will tell you on this show, hard pass, hard pass, and we're not gonna let anybody forget the vitriol that she has spewed on Twitter over the past few years. Mm -hmm.